You want me to do the intro? Or you want to do the intro? Doesn't matter. I was about, I was about to launch into it. So. You, you launch into it. All right, I ladies know. and gentlemen, welcome back to Those Two Geeks. My name's Alex. His name's Joe. We are joined again by Matthew Klein, and I don't know how much of that previous crap you've just heard. <laughs> I should know, because I, I'm the one that's going to be cutting it out, but I don't know how much I'm going to leave in. So there you go. Maybe nothing, maybe everything. We'll find out. Um, today is the 26th of August, which for those of you who follow us and also follow wrestling, you will also know that tomorrow, the 27th, when this comes out, is AEW's all-in show in Wembley Stadium in London. Mm-hmm. This holds the distinction of being... and tell me when I'm telling lies, this holds the distinction of being the biggest pro wrestling show at the very least in the Western Hemisphere. It is certainly AEW's biggest show, Mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure it's breaking records for attendance. Um, So obviously we're going to talk about it, and uh, we'll do what we normally do, and talk about predictions and and storyline things, and I think ironically enough this is going to be the first time we've released it the day of instead of it coming out the day after because wwe right. shows tend to be on a saturday so we we have the full card available to us at the moment or as it is effective um the 26th there is one match that as we're recording hasn't officially been revealed yeah yeah but we we you know we're, we're nerds we've, we we know what it is so mm-hmm. And we're going to reveal it because by tomorrow it will be revealed. So. Exactly. By the time this they, comes out, it will be out. They've already uh, they've already revealed it to the people in the future. So why can't we see it? I don't. It's, yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Um, Before we get started, though, um, I would like to take a moment because it's been a surreal week for wrestling fans. And um like to definitely take a moment to recognize the passing of uh, Wyndham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt. Um, this one hit me so freaking hard. I was telling Matthew, uh, I've never cried over a man I've never met so much in my life. Aww. And the reason for being is it's not just the character of Bray Wyatt that really gave me joy because I, I thoroughly believe he was in, he, he will go down in the Hall of Fame. I think he was an absolute amazing amazing wrestler but also the one of the most brilliant minds in the business i put him up there with a paul Heyman, a matt hardy um you know a chris jericho those people triple h um it was the fact that he was so very open about mental health and addiction and he was an advocate for it of course that really resonates with me and we're conditioned to believe that, you know, when a wrestler passes, oh, Jesus, it's suicide. It's not the case. And his death hit me so hard that um, I have decided that I'm no longer going to follow the dirt sheets, period. I can't. Because everyone's been running with this narrative of he took his ball and ran home. And, you know, I think the WWE did a disservice to him by not stepping out in front of that narrative and saying, no, he's extremely ill. We support him. He'll be back when he's back. I I think letting speculation run wild was um, a disservice, and I don't think it's it's fair. And it's a very big reminder of how you know we think we know as wrestling fans and smarks, but we don't know until we know. And um, you know these people have lives, they families, they they give of themselves to us. And uh, yeah, I mean it just it really resonates with me uh, i i would have been less upset if the undertaker passed away or stone cold steve austin because i could wrap my head around that this one just man his light was extinguished way too fast so um that's my little piece on that i apologize no don't apologize i i it's so i never watched bray wyatt like i wasn't oh. into wwe i still haven't really watched any of the build-up to his stuff um the odd i think maybe the odd match here and there but when um when the message came in our group chat and i saw uh yeah omg bray wyatt the the last thing on my mind was what actually happened and so Mm. i went from holy shit he just signed with aew and he's gonna debut it all in to Mm. 
reading uh, the rest of the chat, I'm like, fuck. So yeah, it, it went cold. Yeah, it, 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 like I said, like I didn't know his stuff, but that moment of, of, of excitement to, to yeah. not, like I can only imagine what it would have been like for, uh, yeah, pe- people like yourself who were a, very a lot more attached and invested to him. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Terry Funk, I could wrap my head around. The guy was 70. The guy's had more almost retirements. 80. And death. Almost 80, almost 80. 79. Okay, 79. Yeah. I'm sorry, Matthew. So yeah. more retirement matches and death matches than I could ever imagine. You know, the guy had a 50-year-plus career. Can wrap your head around that guy going. I mean, he put himself through hell. And he was a great wrestler himself. I mean, he is one of the absolute legends. He, this, this is a dude that no sold a horse kicking him, right? Yeah, so, I mean, he gave like he's a tough bastard back to the business so many times over in any promotion he was part of, and he wasn't like as much as I love Ric Flair. I, I really do love Ric Flair. I could have accepted Ric Flair passing away; it would have made more sense to me. Ric Flair will go anywhere there's a paycheck, and you know that's the bottom line. Um, but Terry Funk was not that way. Terry Funk went and got a paycheck, but he loved everywhere he went. I mean, it was just a really, really, really unbelievable week for wrestling. And they say these things come in threes, so I hopefully, hopefully that's not the case. Let's make it through the weekend without a, another wrestling tragedy. You know, I mean, to get into professional wrestling, you know, you're going to f- see more more tragedies than you know, dentists see suicides. I mean, it's just um, it's an unbelievable statistic. But yeah, I, I wanted to just talk about Bray Wyatt for a moment and let's get into Wembley. But I think we should start with Zero Hour. Oh, 100%. Okay. Okay. So I'm already loaded for all these predictions. I, so I was, uh, I was telling Matthew because we, we hopped on a few minutes before you were able yeah. to connect because you had your, your yeah. audio issues. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, so we had, we had been chatting and I said, this is the first pay-per-view in a long time where mm-hmm. i could make to me a convincing argument either way oh so, and many of the matches for me yeah so many so i'm actually gonna add the coin flip that we did oh. the last time oh, oh, oh all right these times all um, right. and the reason being is that when i we, we last few times we've done this has been with wwe shows and yeah. as someone who hasn't followed wwe i've been able to get greater than 50 percent of the calls right with some consistency so like a band right like it's one of those things like if i can get this right this much like how predictable is it right so um i figure with a coin flip for this one it'll be interesting because i don't actually know half Mm -hmm. half of what these are so we've got yeah, so to open up the match revealed on Collision, I mean tonight technically, but last night. Yep. Uh, Jungle Boy Jack Perry, the FTW champion. Ah, uh, just Jack Perry. I I know, I know, but mm-hmm. because he's a heel and I'm playing up the I don't like him. You I, mean Christian put Jr.? Some, sure. Oh. Put some respect on. Ooh, ouch. Put some respect um, on Jungle Boy. Is I mean on Jack Perry's name. Uh, fair, fair. I won't. So because I can't stand Hook. I, I hate Hook. I, I hate him. You know what? I actually, I think, I don't know what it is, but there's oh, something gosh. about Hook that I like. And, like, look at him of, like Dizzy Gillespie coming down. How threatening is he? Like, I just, I think that's the point. Like, that, that's what I like about him is that he doesn't look threatening <laughs> at all. Gilberg. It's ridiculous. There was I, a. I, I think Hook is, it, look, he's young. He's got plenty of time to figure it out. Yeah, of course. He's got to drop the whole, you know, silent but violent throwback no. kind of gimmick. I just no. don't think it works anymore. It worked for three months. No. Yeah, I, it, it three months. Yeah. I, 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 so I think it, it works if he's trying to get used to talking and find the character, but I think he's found his character. It's just he doesn't talk as much. Yeah, his dad is Taz. Figure it out. Yeah. Like, oh, I, mean, I I think I think there's another level yet for him, for him to uh, to to explore, I agree, and I agree I definitely think it's coming. 
Uh, I just, okay, but ugh. yeah. So what's your I, what's your prediction on this one, Alex? I think Jack Perry takes it. I agree because I agree. Hooks already had one loss. I think this is yep. going to be a much more competitive bout, but yep. I think you're going to see Luchasaurus come out and swing the tide. Wow, that's interesting. Because I I'm think you're the Luchasaurus part. You think what? There's a reunion now with Jack Perry and Luchasaurus and Christian. I I do, and I think it's purely because of Jack uh, Perry's gear looks a lot like Luchasaurus's again. No, I think, look, there's something to be said to, it doesn't seem like Jack Perry's really getting that over as a heel on his own. Mm. So maybe he needs some help. He needs, he does in fact need the tutelage of Christian. Christian was right all along. Um, Christian is talking about himself as a mentor and all that stuff. So you you know what? That's, it's not the craziest idea I ever heard, Alex. No, it's not. I I agree. I think we all agree with the the outcome. It's going to be Jack Perry. I do, however, see the Taz mission being slapped on Jack Perry. Before, oh, yeah, I think it's. Mm. Oh I no! Think. What if what if Taz turns on his son no. for some reason? No. That would be so bad WCW booking. God, if they do that, uh, I don't know. AEW flirts with a lot of WCW. You're booking. absolutely right. You are absolutely right. But I'm mean, wondering. Stupid. Like just I, stupid. I, like I feel like they've kept the yep. commentators largely um, as as NPCs in terms of to borrow a video game term. I I don't think you're gonna see Taz turning on him. You know, like yeah. I, I, I I just don't I, I think it'll be more likely Taz would try and do a run in if Luchasaurus or some or a bunch of people That's are interfering. What I think it's gonna happen. Yeah. And and I think like you might see Taz be more overtly pro hook than anything else, but I think the Christian idea though, we could it, get turtleneck bros, right? Like I yeah. I, ju- I just think that's the kind of th- like I I feel like you're going to see interference in this one, and I I think that's purely because Jack Perry is getting heat, but He's Christian heat Cage is nuclear face. heat, and if you can rub that off on Jack Perry. Especially if you can then spin a feud into Hook with Darby Allen. So Darby's got a couple of younger guys with him that he then starts yeah. blending into the I'm I'm taking care of Nick Wayne and uh, and Hook. Like yeah. I, I think that could be an interesting stable as well that, that they could start to form. Could be yeah. because I mean Hook Hook is effectively by stable. himself. Sorry, say that again. I'm sorry, I'll give you one more for that stable. We were talking about Bray Wyatt, you know, before his passing that you thought mm. he might be going to AEW. Well, apparently something that is, and ironically I said I won't read dirt, dirt sheets, but this is before I made that declaration. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna rely on the last inaccurate piece of information that you Yes, exactly. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Apparently you know, Edge was how Edge is going to AEW, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think so, because Edge was declined. What it would take to keep him in WWE uh, outright. Did you see him debunk that? I don't think he's uh, he's debunking it. And every time he says it, he says it, you know, he's got nothing going on until September. Uh, no, he's, did you did you see his actual video where he's well, like, none of that was true. I did not make any demands. I did not. He's like, oh, I've got the contract true. extension in my inbox. Toronto was an incredible night. I don't know if I wanted if it can be top. He literally came out the day after all that reporting and said the dirt sheets were BS. I thought that was one of the reasons why you were gonna swear off the dirt sheets because everybody got that. Now it's a bit more. All right, now it's no more. Never mind. That was neither here nor there. There is no edge to AEW at this point. I I like the at this point though. I. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually it happened just so Edge and Christian can can Maybe. work together one more time. Maybe, However, but it won't be this event. No, I don't be, think I don't think it'll be any time soon. For sure, it wouldn't be because he's still under contract. Yeah, so. but I think it could happen before Mania. Maybe you're you're assuming you're assuming a he wants to do it, which there is no confirmation he does. Right. Yeah. Again, the dirt sheets got it so wrong, so embarrassingly wrong. Damn your dirt it's sheets. terrifying. Um, yeah. And just one more reminder that they have no idea what they're doing most of the time. Right. So, like, th- that will not factor into this stable at all. Okay. Um, 
No, I, but Christian turtleneck bros. So, so are we all agreed? It's all three for Jack Perry. What does the coin say? The coin also said Jack Perry. There we uh, go. All, all four, all in on Jack. All in. I like it, Matthew. Yeah. There you go. Nice plug. All right. Uh, so up right, next, one, we are pre- presumably. I, so I'm I'm debating whether it be Hook and Jack Perry versus or Hook and Jack Perry first on Zero Hour or uh, Jack Perry first. There's no way anything's going to go later than this next match for a Zero Hour. No way. So this is the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship mm-hmm. between Aussie Open and Better Than You Baby. Okay. I'm going to flip the coin first. Go ahead. So heads is uh, Aussie Open. It, the coin thinks Aussie Open is going to win. Of course. That's an I, Aussie. I, mean, I agree right with there. the Aussie Open. I agree with that. So, I, so I, there are two ways I can see this going. Mm-hmm. If, it, I, I mean, I, I don't think you can talk about this match without touching on the, uh, the World Championship later. But I think that there's two ways this is going to go. Either there's going to be the breakup of Better Than You, Bebe, in this match. And really build heat for um, for for the match later that night, or you're going to see them actually take it. They are going to take it, and then then all of a sudden you find out like, wait, no matter what happens after the uh, the championship right. match, yeah. these guys have to defend this again, and I can see them defending it the next week. Yeah, at, at um at the uh, all out, at all, all out. out, and I I. Like I'm edging toward that because Aussie Open have had a lot of great matches across Collision Dynamite, and I think even I, Rampage over the last uh, couple of weeks almost to show that you know they're they're building this team up as a legitimate threat. And I hate then to say I'm not familiar with them. It's they. I'm only familiar with them through um, through AEW, and they've yeah. done some. Their their mic work has been really good. Uh, Kyle, Kyle Fletcher has been really solid in the ring. Um, Mark Davis is all, he just he he comes across as a monster despite not really being as big as um, other guys. He's just like solid, solid. Uh, yeah. I feel that you're going to see the reason that they've been building these two across the the shows over the last x number of weeks is because you're going to see better than you, baby. Take the um, that's, title. that's what I say. I say, first of all, the reason that they get the nod, it's Wembley. That's why they're getting that, that spot, period. Second of all, it better than you, Bebe, is going to take it because if you go your way, it's the predictable, oh, no, they had a miscommunication, and now what's going to happen in the main event? Tired and true and played out. And and I, I think Tony, this uh, this has been AEW's greatest story in so I, long. This has already surpassed Punk and mm-hmm. Met, and MJF for me. Mm-hmm. I know that might be an unpopular opinion. No, but this is the best thing they have done since AEW's inception. And, and I think it's because so many of us were expecting it to be, oh, Adam Cole and MJF are going to feud, and MJF's going to put Adam Cole through yeah. a gauntlet for. They, he, while they have been in action a lot over the last little yeah. while. It's been together, and they've like legitimately been building something. And I think that you're going to get the payoff. You know, step one is that they're going to become tag the championship, tag champion. So there'll be a double champion, which is the second. Yeah. MJF will only be the second <laughs> double champion in yeah, AEW that history. Adds so much question marks to the main event if you have them mm-hmm. win the open. Yeah, they're going to do it. They would be absolutely stupid to not. Let them win the tights. They don't need to hold it for a long while. They can lose it back on dynamite. No problem. Yeah, they but don't have to hold it for long. There so that you add question marks to the main event that you're like, okay. And that's what I think I will say. For, like Matthew says, AEW's got some of the worst finicky booking I've ever seen in my life. But somehow they've managed to go left every single time in this storyline. Every time you think you know what's coming with Adam Cole and MJF, they've managed to just be like, oh, crap, they extended it. I didn't see that coming. I saw this turn coming. I saw this turn coming. They hugged it out. And it just gets better and better and better. And it's like, I'm not ready to say goodbye to it yet. So, yeah. yeah. 
So we'll put a pin on that at this point because yeah. we've, we've, we've all put what we uh, think down. So this is actually the first time that we, there's a difference between. So, so I, w- I, wanna, I do want to ask a question. But I want Matthew to say why he thinks. Mm. I, I do want to ask a question, though. Mm-hmm. So let's say they win the ROH tag titles. Mm-hmm. What good does that do ROH if they're going to break up in the main event and a week later at All Out? Does ROH what really you, what matter? Are you doing to your, what are you doing to that brand as opposed to, to taking the guys that you've been building up for three months now and feeding them and saying, oh, ROH is second fiddle again? But it is. We all know. No, I understand. Fiddle. But is that is that the message they're going to send? Is I don't know. But do? if you were can, Tony Khan, you would just say, ah, once again, this means absolutely nothing. And if it means absolutely nothing, then why instance, win it? Why? why in this particular it? instance, I would do it. Yes, I would do it for these titles because just what I've got, I've, I've captured lightning somehow and I'm not going to I'm going to mark it to the fullest. So here's the other like, thing. Here's the other thing with AEW booking. AEW booking likes to hyperspeed storylines right. and story. Right. And this one, yeah. and I worry that they could end up going through four weeks of TV in the span of one pay per view. <laughs> I would totally be surprised. This if MJF they and Adam Cole storyline, in yeah. order to get to All Out being a week later Which, and give it a worthy I mean, event. So ridiculous that they're having it back to back like that. I just, I think, ugh. I, I, I think that the reason I think they're going to win it is because it does set up a rematch for all out between Aussie open and better than you, baby. And I think, or there'll be a, a, a triple threat tag team match for the titles with, um, say the young, but you know, you know, like an, another bigger team yeah. that, that you can more easily see, take it. Oh, we'll um, get there. Uh, I'm sure we will. So I, I think that for that reason, you're going to see better than you, baby, win the ROH Tag Championships tonight. Tomorrow? Then, well, tonight. I'm, I'm tonight. T- tonight. This comes out to um. This comes out tomorrow. Uh, I oh, think right, right, right. Sorry. You know, I, I think you're going to see them win the tag titles today. I just don't think you're going to see them keep it as long as. No, not at all. Uh, you know, say for example, FTR kept the ROH titles. Yeah, not at all. I look, I, I, I would normally just say it's Aussie Open is going to win this, and you're going to have the the seeds because this this match is meant to serve the main event. Mm-hmm. Let's be very clear. Absolutely, that is the point of this match is to serve the yeah. main event and give Aussie Open a little bit of a spotlight. So you can't think right. about this match without thinking about the main event and what you think is going to happen in the main right. event. Yep. So I, I, because I could see it either way, but not for good reason. I see okay. that it could go left for the sake of going left, which is not actually the best reason to go right. left. Yeah. Um, but I could see them trying to do that intentionally so I I'm going to I'm still going to go with Aussie Open is, is still my pick on this one, but but I totally agree that they could decide to go left for the sake of going left on this one. We'll okay, see. Fair enough. Selfishly, I don't care. I want better than your favorite to win. Wrestling booking be damned. I want them to sure. win. Sure. I was gutted when they lost to FTR, and I love FTR, so I want that pop. I I, I think. I'm going to be honest. I think Tony Khan, and you'll see it through my predictions, I think Tony Khan's going to be booking a night of pops. That's that's really what I thought. He might as well I wouldn't be card. shocked. I, I wouldn't be shocked if if he books a night of pops because yeah. he wants to get the feel good. He wants to, to, make, to, to make this crowd really happy. He wants it to come yeah. across great. He doesn't want a WrestleMania night, too. You know, no, I don't exactly. think that's what he wants. And I, and I think that's what we're going to get, so... All right, so, definitely so lingered we, on we, that. Got our, we got our predictions. I'm with the coin. Yes, sir. You two, you two are with uh, better than you, baby. Better than you, baby. All right, on to the main show. All yes. right, so I, again, have no real idea what order this card is going to be in. So yeah, I know. Have... So just put whatever you want. We yeah. know what the main event's going to be. Like, exactly. Like so. I, I, I think the um, the most 
for, for me, the most obvious or the next one would be Osprey Y2J. I think, you think that you, will open? No, I don't think. I, I don't know if it'll open. I feel like you're more likely going to get. Um, do you know what? Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it opens. No, the, the only reason I think it would be later would because would be because Will Ospreay is in it. Otherwise, I can see it being an opener because I don't know if you'd want to start with a coffin match. I don't I think, think the they... trio's title will, will open it. I think the trios will be early in the um, yeah. early on. Remember, it's going to be about five and a half hours. Yeah, so I, I think you're going to find you'll you'll probably have like because again you've got the Golden Elite versus Bullet Club. You've got I think it's gonna be a, it will be a multi-man match that starts this card. I, I think, think so. I'm agreeing with Matthew too. I think All it right. will be a multi-man match that starts this yeah. card because it is just like there are too it's, many of them. Yeah, you're not gonna. <laughs> you have, I think you're gonna have to have like multi-man singles, multi-man single at some point the women's. But there's only I think three singles matches on the card. Yeah, save, so pick a singles match. Save Jericho and Osprey for the middle. I would save Jericho and Osprey for the middle. I would I would pick a I would pick a I would pick yeah, a pick different a one. Honestly, I could see I think they open with um with the uh, trios championship. Let's start I with the trios so. championship. All right. I think too, to be honest, with House of Black versus um the acclaimed. And so that, that, I know so. who I want to win this, and who I think are going to win a totally different thing. Who I want to win this, and who I think is going to win this. So. Yeah, so um, we're gonna flip the coin. Heads for the or heads for the acclaimed, tails for the House of Black. Mm-hmm. Uh, the coin thinks the House of Black is gonna win. Oh, what a shocker! Did you even flip? I did actually. <laughs> I did. I flipped. I flipped. I, I'll flip it twice just to make sure it doesn't go back and forth. <laughs> did Julia um, give you the coin? Oh, I wish she had. Um, no, she did not. So I think. <laughs> Based right. on the cheap pops, I think you're going to see the acclaim take this because they've been building the daddy ass storyline. Now he's coming back as the badass Billy Gunn. Yeah. I would much rather see House of Black take it. Can I, you explain why? Because I really enjoy the uh, House Rules matches when they happen. Okay. I I think that having the House of Black as a, you know, the, the this kind of a, just a, a trio of almost an almost unbeatable trio but that they struggle during the singles matches i think that is really interesting Uh, that's Um, a good good wrinkle yeah right like they i don't remember the last time you've seen buddy matthews actually win a singles match Um, either (laughs) right like he's he's fantastic but when he's in when he's in a trios match like it's like any any one of them looks unbeatable but in a singles match they there's always something that happens that costs them the win yeah. um i i just i just think that i would much rather see them together because you don't see malachi wrestle singles matches much he's either an attack no, or a trio same. match um i think his back is fucked yeah no like, he's I just think he's, he's still coming he's back. limited because of his health is, is yeah. what it seems yeah so so you're thinking acclaimed and billy gunn i am okay. and i would much rather want like if i'm wrong i'm gonna be so happy uh-huh. but I, I just think you're going to see the acclaimed and Billy Gunn win this. Because, of, uh, again, I agree, to, I agree like, because this is the feel good moment, right? Exactly. Now, absolutely. To open with. Yeah. And, and understand yep. all out is going to be rematches. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we, I think so. It's going to be like payback. Yeah. It's so going I, to be. Re, well, payback's not really. So rematch. Really it's so it's called WrestleMania Rewind. Yeah. It's going to be like, like Backlash was, right? Like That's this shit. is. This is going to be all out has to be rematches because they don't have time to build stories. Yeah, in addition. So I think, and again, you want a feel good pop, then you give Billy Gunn this win on this yeah. big stage and they can go lose it a week later and they yeah. can say your career is on the line or whatever you want to do. I yeah. think he's definitely done after this win. He should be. He's really after he should i mean but here's the thing if he if he's going to retire then he should lose mm-hmm. right like that's the yeah thing. I sure you on the way out. you're right I, I actually think this is a better show to retire him at because he would retire at, in front of eighty thousand people but they haven't built up the retirement match for him exactly Right, like I think that they should have done. You know, he can say, "I'm going to come back for one more." If it's this or, or, you know, it's I'm all in. It's this or nothing. 
then yeah, I think they would yeah, have I, agree. I don't I I think he's I don't think he's done. I think that's just been a tease. Um so I agree. I think I think it's the acclaimed and Billy Gunn. You get the feel good moment, you get a rematch next week in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I one, I really want the feel good moment for Billy Gunn. I think he deserves yeah. it wholeheartedly. Two, I love the acclaimed. I think they are just unbelievable. It took me a while to come around to them. Three, as much as I love Malachi Black, I'm bored of House of Black. I'm absolutely bored of House of Black. I think so, they've gone as far as they can with the trios titles for this run. I'm not saying they won't get it back again. I want something fresh. I, I would like to see the acclaimed with a nice little feel-good run. And I don't think you'll get it for two weeks. I think you'll get it for, like, maybe a month. Do you and know what? About- I, I, I don't think you're wrong. And I think... Not for T-shirts and whatever. Yeah, yeah like I, I think you're going to see a, sh- a couple of shorter runs with the trios titles because there's only really been three champions since they were introduced right. a year a year yeah. and change ago. So I, I think it is time to get a couple of shorter runs in. You know, a hot potato title is... I know people don't like it, but I think it makes it more exciting. So like, oh, you're going to have... You know, it, it could change at any point. Like when um, Daniel... Garcia beat Wheeler Utah for the pure championship on on, on a dynamite. Like, there's no way he's going to win this. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing: hot like, potato oh. hot potato title runs don't work if you do it forever and ever. No, yeah. they don't. They do work though if you have two or three of them after a very long run. Yes, and you're resetting who's going to be yep. the next big stalwart for the division, mm-hmm. right? So. Like, I think that's what's going to happen with the Intercontinental title when Gunther loses it. I think you'll have two oh, yeah, or three yeah. short runs before the next big standard bearer will have yeah, it, right? It will highlight how great his run was. Exactly. So yeah. I think I think you're I think you've got a good idea here, Alex. I think it's acclaimed and Billy Gunn. I think they have a short run. Mm-hmm. I think that you see a different kind of trios. Um, really come to to pass over the next couple months and and take this yeah. on and quite yeah. frankly give the titles a little bit more pizzazz than yeah a little bit more on sequence too like oh I need to watch this because these titles change right yeah so yeah. so so where are you on this Joe I'm going with acclaimed and Billy Gunn Joe, right. one so just because so, of him coming back is is Billy Gunn. I, so and I it's think us they give versus it it's us versus the coin on this match. It That's is. Right. It is. All right. So who's next? Where do we go after this one? I think you're going to have a non-title match. Yeah. Um, I, I I feel like the Stadium Stampede is going to be later on, but I yeah, don't I think it's going to be the one of those. Yeah, later in the show because it will drain people for how long it's going to be. Yeah, stuff. and it, yeah, it's going to be it, responsible for getting the energy level up after like the women's title match or something. Oh God, the, uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So what else is on there next? Um. What, what so the coffin match, the Young Bucks versus so FTR. I hope Young Bucks and FTR on right after. I'd say coffin. Match. I would say I would say it's Golden Elite or it's Coffin after that. Yeah, let's go with Coffin. All right. Um, it's Sting Darby Allen. Let's not what? even drag this out. Yeah, it's Sting Darby Allen. Darby Allen. It's an excuse to throw people in wooden boxes. You're yeah. gonna give Sting the big feel good moment with a big yeah. win on this stage, and also this was not the match it was supposed to be because they screwed up with the AR Fox visa situation. <laughs> So, like, come on. This is Sting and Darby Allen. If you go any other way, this is stupid booking. Yeah, I agree. It is. I, agree. I, I, I think, again, you're going to see a Sting retirement match soon. It, no, it not at all, man, no. No, it isn't here, and it isn't this one. And I think Sting's going to do something crazy, too. I like, think Sting will do something. something super crazy, and he will win the match. But, again, Tony Khan is a fan as much as yes. anything else. He wants yes. to give Sting a big moment and a big ovation on a big stage like mm-hmm. this. So I think, and and it's another way to just keep raising Darby's profile if you can. Especially so. if you're looking at putting, that like once Sting goes, you're looking at having Darby lead something with Nick Wayne yeah. and whomever sure. else he's gonna, gonna pull in. So. Something, uh, uh, Alex said Matthew, who do you think the big return's gonna be tomorrow night? Um, because you're talking we'll, about the we'll, mystery we'll about get, it, right? I, I think we're going to get to that when we talk about it 
it. Oh, you uh, think it's the main event time? Pot, say that again. I think it will be during the main event. There will be a big return. I don't think it'll be in the main event. I think you're going to see it either in Stadium Stampede or in the women's match. Well, I mean, look, you've got. Uh, well, I, I don't think the big return is here. Let's put it that way. Okay. Um, unless, of course, like Muda comes out and assists Sting, and they got him on a walker, which would not be I'm shocked just if they do something it. like that. Um, it's as out there as it can be, and it's not dirt cheese. It's me. I'm going to say Goldberg shows up at All In. Oh yeah, I think you could have Goldberg. I think you have Goldberg. Look, I think I think you're gonna I, have Bret Hart make an appearance. Do you? I, but he's under WWE contract. I mean, it's under like a Legends deal. It's like he could get a yeah, one-off not. pass to appear on camera. I so? Yeah, I think so. I think also you cool. could have. I, and when we get to the when we get to the mystery partner, yeah. they still have a mystery partner, right? That's, oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, have, I think do they have a mystery partner? They I thought it was they five on five they now. Them. Yeah, they revealed them on uh, Dynamite. I'm sorry. Oh, who's the mystery partner? Santis and uh, uh, Santana and Ortiz. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because Ray Ray Phoenix can't make it. Uh, cool. Yeah, because again, they they didn't think to actually double check the status of their wrestlers. Can um, I also say that they really Moxley took some serious freaking liberties with Ray Phoenix's face during that match? Like he kicked, I don't know fucking face is hot like that was brutal to watch i was like jesus see i was thinking i was thinking the mystery partner if they still had a mystery partner would be harry smith but um, oh, so it'd be a good call yeah well, I can't, here's the thing they're gonna try and give as much nostalgia towards 92 SummerSlam as they can at points so right? I think you're right i think you're very right yeah and if you can't get the british bulldog you can get his son um, to, to yeah. appear on there um, so I still think I still think Harry appears somewhere on the card. I would yeah. not be shocked if Brett makes an appearance to wave and say hello on the card somewhere. Goldberg, sure, why not? Let's I let's see get Goldberg. It. I see it. Yeah, I, I, think, I think MJF versus Goldberg. Let's let's see it. Um, oh, you're tipping your cap. All right. Um, okay, so we said Sting and Darby Allen. The coin, coin, the coin, yeah, the coin, the coin actually thing? agrees. So the coin agrees. <laughs> all right. All four for that one. Yeah. All right. So next I could see the, um, what was it? The golden elite. I can see this next. Do you think they do three multi-mans in a row? Uh, no, 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 no. I think, I, I, think right. we're gonna get a, I think we get a, a singles match or a tag match or a, um, I, I would not be shocked if this is where they put punk versus Joe. Mm-hmm. Oh. Kind of the, the, yeah kind of like be the, the support bracket for the first third of the show. Let's um, do that. And, and is, is there any doubt in who's winning this match? I do have a little bit of doubt. And I'll, I'll say one thing before we go. We all know where I stand on these two folks. Um, but this doesn't feel big. I don't know what it, it is. It, it, I, so I, I think they're building up to Punk v. Joe 7. Hear me out, because they've, they've well they've well established Punk v Joe. You know, Punk won the first one via roll up, right. uh, so that puts him at three one. I think you're going to never beaten him in ROH. That was the White Whale. Joe trounced yeah. him every time, and I don't. So do you think that, so? Punk v Seven. You think three in a row for Punk? I think three then, in a row for Punk, and then I think you're going to see oh, Punk v Joe Seven for like I I think it's going to take a cut a year. Like I don't think it's going to be a a quick turnaround. This is the last time I want to see them fight. I think, but I so I think you're going to see. I, I do think you're going to see it, and I think eventually it's either going to be after Joe gets one of the two titles, so it's going to be Punk trying to get something back or um, a reunification. Right. Um, I don't see. Joe, I mean, I can see Joe Joe v MJF is a fantastic program. Yeah, I can see that too because that where it plays into yeah what I think. But I think, um, I mean, I'm I'm totally tipping my hat for who I think is going to win the main event. But yeah, I think Punk wins. I, yeah. I think Punk wins. Yeah. yeah. Also, I, like you can't you can't bill him as the real world champion well, for a month. That situation after this match, though. Finally, like it, I. It's I mean, stupid. isn't all out at Chicago? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, you don't, you don't hot shot that. You know what you I mean? Like, that, that would be the, that would be the hot shot of hot shots. 
that would be the worst hot shot of all time. Like Absolutely. you would blow the load so bad on that one. No, I think all I think, out is. I think they build. That's what the deal is. I think I think they build MJF versus Punk next year when they're yeah. when they finish up their TV contract renewals. Um, yeah. Do you think MJF is going to be the champion for that long? No, no. no let's get to that. Later. I didn't God. say that. All right. All right. Let's all right. Get right. Later. Um, I, so I I'm pic- I was picturing Punk MJF at a unification bout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll get to that anyway, we'll get to that. It's way too early to do I, that at all. I, I completely agree with you. It's like, why do we even want to talk about the main event if you guys keep going? Um, but <laughs> we're, it's, 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 everything about this program ties into the main event. Yeah, I say Punk wins. Joe Punk. locks him into the Coquina Clutch, doesn't let go. It ends with Joe go. just choking him the shit out. I no, I think I think you're gonna see Punk win, and I think you're gonna get to see the crowd pop when he wins, and he's, get, he's gonna get a moment Surprise celebrating because Joe's already choked him out a couple of times. Yeah, what do the Brits think of Punk though? I, I'll be surprised if he gets the ovation he thinks he it's, deserves. It's gonna be interesting. It, it, it doesn't. Interesting. It, the thing is, I don't necessarily think it's gonna be a good ovation. Maybe there's a ton of booze for it. Yeah, I, right? I don't like, think he's gonna have. He, he's gonna thrive off of that no matter what. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna get a hero's welcome. That's what I'm saying. And I love Funk. We all know I love Funk. That's. I'll be wearing my Punk shirt tomorrow, there only because go. my better than you baby shirt isn't in yet. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I I think Punk wins. It it makes no sense with this. And I freaking hate the quotations around real. I, I it just irritates me. I liked. When he had the balls to pull out the belt, and it makes sense from not only a kayfabe but a real life storyline that, hey, you never beat me. I was on the shelf, so I mm. liked that. But the fact that they haven't even addressed it once, like to me, it's so out of character for MJF not to come down and be like, "Who the hell okay. are you?" Especially I, when I, they're on I, the same show. It's I, I, yeah, I so I think that the reason he hasn't addressed it is because he's so wrapped up in having a friend yeah, 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 he, just, he just doesn't give a shit. That's a great I idea. I think it's just okay. stupid booking. But I think sure. it's stupid booking. I'm not going to give them that much credit. There's no, no reason. I, okay, so I think the reason you're going to see MJF come out and saying, look, the reason I didn't address this is because he's nothing to me. I didn't care because of whatever. Well, that, I, think, I think that's the storyline is like, I know I... I'm the real world champion. He can he can have whatever toy belt he wants. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, make him the, the actual baby. champ. So why yeah. should I and care? Why perfect. should I give him credo? Exactly. Yeah, like, I think that will but be by, the, by ignoring it, is, is, MJ, is MJF kind of addressing it is that he just doesn't think it's worth his time. I, I yeah. agree. So what is what is next? What is worth our time? How about the women's match? Sure. Okay. So no way. I think I think Soraya wins. Soraya. I think she wins dirty, but yes, I think she wins. I think I she think wins. It's a shit, shit idea. But I mean, hey, you got to. She hasn't. She hasn't done a ton since she came back at not four all. years. This is if you were ever gonna make a real push with her, this is the yeah, stage you do it on. And you talk about someone who will get a hero's welcome. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you also got to wonder, was this part of the reason? You know what I mean? Because this stuff is known in advance as far as the oh, venue. Yeah. I, I would not be shocked. Like, Tony, as long as I get the win in Wembley, I don't give a shit what we do up till then. And I think that's that's what you're going to see. I think it sows the seeds of dissent with, you know, um, what are they called? The outcasts. Uh, the originals, the outcasts, yeah. That's how much I care. What I would do is I would put Britt Baker back. I, I think them. I know, but I think Britt Baker has just lost so much since she was. I think the women's division has lost so much since Britt was on top. It was exciting when she was on top. Now it's and just I like think, I think Soraya Soraya will be the shot in the arm for for one night. So that you get that magnificent pop. She gets the big hometown win. She's come yeah, back after years on the shelf with that neck yeah. injury. And then who knows? Maybe she loses it a week later to Tony Storm or Britt Baker or in a rematch to Hik- Hikaru um, at All Out. Do it that quick? They would keep it on her for only, I think, if they I don't give know. it to her. 
she's gonna have it for like a couple months. Maybe. I, I can I can see her again. I, I don't think she'll keep it for long. I don't I think so either. Because Tony Storm had it for a while. She just had it for a little bit. I don't think that um, Sarai will keep it for long. So I don't think she's got... The fact that I don't even care about this division. I just what? don't care. I, I think the problem with Soraya is that she's still some like she's she's in the Malachi Black stage, right? Where she's still yeah. fragile and they don't want to overexpose yeah. her. So yeah. I think they'll they'll keep her around for a bit and then maybe maybe she does a couple of matches against say Sky Blue because she's worked with Sky Blue before. That yeah. that elevates Sky Blue back up because she's had a I couple of like, upside. Yeah, and, and Sky Blue's had a lot of um losses lately so maybe having a really good match against Soraya is gonna well she'd I expect she would lose it but yeah so Soraya we're all in agreement what does the coin say what does the British coin say uh the coin says Britt Baker DMD I would honestly I, love that coin. I would rather see Tony Storm take it because I think that's how you break up the outcasts but I think you're gonna get the cheap pop Oh, I mean, look, yeah. Soraya, Soraya winning could also break up the outcast, though. Who knows? Yeah, they definitely break up the outcast. I feel depending okay. depending on how it's done. Depending on how it's done, yeah, yeah. I, I think right. whoever so, for the outcast wins will break up the outcast. But I do right. see, uh, I see the logic. There's no way if you were going to give her the most magnificent pop that she could possibly get, it's Wembley, yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. She might even be one of the pops of the night, whether so, she wins or loses. The the ironic thing is, is that I have seen so many people say, we don't actually like Soraya in the UK. Pe- people assume Soraya is going to be- get a big cheer, but we a lot of us don't like her. So I I'm here- listen, I assume Tony, I think Tony is assuming Soraya will, Soraya will also get a big pop in the UK. I, I agree. I think so, it's going to be hilarious if she comes out and there's just a chorus of booze. And at, and at that point, are they going to um, are they going to call an audible on the on the winner? Yeah. Well, th- this is why we watch tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I think after this, we do Golden Elite versus. Yes. I think that's what you're Golden. likely to see. Yeah. Uh, um, I think Golden Elite takes the L. I, I don't think I they think, give Kenny Omega and Paige and Ibushi to win. I think they keep building up uh, mm-hmm. Bullet Club Gold on this one, and maybe I, it's a rematch the following week. But Bullet Club Gold, yeah. I uh, would rather yeah. see Bullet Club Gold win because I, I think that you've got. I think they um, need it more. Yeah, yeah. I and, think I, this- I, and I, I think Kenny is savvy enough to know that even though that he gets to wrestle at Wembley in front of that many people. It, it makes more sense for him to put someone else over. Yeah. And I I, th- I think that's where you're going to see Bullet Club Gold take the win. I think it's going to be a very tough, tough match. I think it's going to be excellent because I think they're all going to put their, their best foot forward. But I think you're going to see a Bullet... I, I mean, Bullet Club Gold has probably the f- fourth member at ringside. I can't, I can't remember who's in Bullet Club Gold for this match. That's the problem with this match. I, I honestly, I say Bullet Club Gold just because I don't think the Golden Elite is going to win it. Yeah, well, because they're with Kanusuke Kanu- Takeshita, so I think you're going to see the guns at ringside, and I think the guns at ringside is going to be what puts Bullet Club Gold over. I don't think it's going to be a clean win. No, 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 no. I don't think you'll see many clean wins on this card, folks. I don't either. I was about to say. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Really I don't. And and you, that's that's one of the beauties of booking a multi-person match is you don't they, they do not have clean wins, and it still technically makes sense. Yeah, um, I I say bull, uh, bull club gold. Yeah, the coin disagrees and thinks it's gonna be the golden elite. All right, coin. All right. So what would be next? Oh, I think, I think you're at the um. I think you're at the tag team championship. Do you okay. think? Do you think so? You're you're putting Y2J and Osprey after the Stadium Stampede. No, I yeah. think Stadium Stampede is the semi-main. I okay. think so too. I think Stadium Stamp- yeah, Stadium Stampede is the palate cleanser to go into the main. Yeah. All right. But okay, so we'll go with um. What was it that you wanted to go with, Matthew? I would uh, go with tag the tag titles. titles. Tag titles? Okay. Alex, let's go with the coin. Okay, so the coin, heads, we're going to do heads for FTR and tails for the Young Bucks. Mm-hmm. And the coin thinks FTR. 
I disagree with that coin. So there's a trial coming. Agreed. I if it wasn't for that, yeah, I one hundred percent think that FTR yeah. are going to we're going to be taking that. I agree. Holy I, I'll also go on this too. Tony Khan sets a really bad precedent if he lets them walk out with the titles. I completely it's agree, a, a thousand percent. That's a He's already method. setting a horrible precedent. He is because honestly, I can't believe the people I'm reading online that they're, they're morons. They're like, "Well, he waved the gun. It's not like he shot it." Excuse me? Are you kidding me? That's still a assault. Lost shit That's in still traffic. assault. Traffic. He lost also, his shit in traffic. Let's also be very clear. He lied to his employer for weeks yeah. about this thing. Yeah. So guess what? That's grounds for at least suspension immediately. Suspension without pay, too. Uh, yes, correct. So I think I, here's the thing. It should, be, it should be the Young Bucks. I'm, I'm, I make this pick out of a sign of sanity in management. Hoping yeah. that they do, yeah, they, they're past yeah, doing the right thing, but some semblance of what the right thing would have been is the Young Bucks yeah. winning and cash going away for a while after this until all this stuff is figured out. The of the titles. Also, I think that if the Young Bucks win, that's another reason why the Golden Elite loses. So that not the entire elite is the loser the on the paper. Elite, yeah, that's that was my thinking too. It's not, you know, I know it's all elite, but you don't need to have all elite win. But no, I, I think Tony needs to take the title off cash. There's I, no, you are rewar- I don't care what happened between Ace Steel and the brawl out at all out. I, I don't give a shit. That pales in comparison to what this guy did. And I love Cash Wheeler. I do. But the fact that he did this, this is beyond unacceptable. Like, this is not a – this could have went way worse. He could have actually pulled the trigger. Then what well, would we be saying? Every, everybody makes mistakes. I get that. But you are that. not a friend. This, you are a boss. You are a this boss. This is insane. Okay? Is insane. Like, what, the precedent this sets for other wrestlers to cover up yeah. potential Agreed. legal infractions from their employer. Yeah is Agreed. terrifying I, but i, I just think if, personally if this hadn't come to light yeah oh yeah ftr all the way but it did and it i agree it did i i can still see tony khan sticking with the original plan and having him drop it the next week because Me too. i could see him actually being like well this is this was, yeah this was my plan the you know which, the young would just be a shit show. So there's, I, I genuinely have two answers. The first answer is if the original plan, I think, was FTR, we're going to take it because I think Absolutely. you're going to get a much bigger pop for FTR. I, uh, yeah, I think so. I, I think you're going to see there's a lot of people who don't follow the dirt sheets and who may not know what cash is going through. Uh, and I, I can genuinely see. FTR retaining the titles because that was the original story. And the last promo I remember seeing on Dynamite was how Everything the Young Bucks said, we don't need to win this. Yeah, I know. You know right? look, I, I agree with you, Alex. I just don't want it to happen so I badly. It's, yeah, it, it, there's no reason management it's, should reward this. Exactly. They shouldn't have it even made it. He's already it's, rewarding it. And the only reason I think he's reward. The only reason they're rewarding it is for Dax. Well, I don't care. I'm sorry. That's you know, the I, only thing that I can see them doing. Is I it, agree with that, but you know what? Dax gets a mystery partner. Right. Dax I, could have gotten I, Goldberg. Damn it! What's yeah, wrong? Exactly. No, I, but like, that's actually a really good point. I can see. I can almost see that. The but, moment this happened. Okay, just put, let's just put put our booking hats and like sanity hats on here for a sec. You think Triple H would have let this go? No, they would have been stripped on NXT. Like it would, they would have been stripped off camera. They would have been stripped off camera. I mean, yeah, it's just, and and but but that's because you're talking about actual management with actual yeah, HR with boy. actual that actually like has sponsors that they need to be accountable yeah. for and shareholders. 
and you have a guy who is running his own private fantasy wrestling league. And that is, this is a fantasy. great example of that. Let's be you're very right. clear. No, you're it, very right. But Warner Brothers Discovery, I can't believe, is okay with this. I am shocked. I if I, that is another one where I'm just like, they are. I mean, look, we all know WBD is a shit show, but this is another is. tremendous okay. example of it. It's just yeah. insane. It but no, I think I think we're harping on this enough. Agree. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to yeah. just to, just to clarify here. Yeah. Give me if two minutes. I'm just gonna run away quickly. Sure. But um, you know. The Bucks, I, I'm not going to argue. I think the Bucks are one of the greatest tag teams ever. I think uh, Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy again, wish think, they were the Bucks. I'm sorry. I, I think they, they I think Bucks. I think Bucks will win this one. I think it's a, a fine win for them. I think they're very deserving of it. I think so um, too. They just signed a brand new contract, so they're going to be around wrestling for at least a couple more years. So five, right? putting like one more five. rain. Giving them one more title reign is not a bad idea. I don't think it's going to hurt the titles. And and again, who knows what happens at All Out? You know, a week later, who who steps up to be their challengers or or what have you? Yeah, I, I don't I don't think the Bucks will keep it for a long time. Probably not. I don't think so. And and I can see Dax being um, put, put given a singles push because he's already he's had a quite a he's, of singles. Yeah, he's already had quite a few good singles matches. Yeah. So I can see him maybe eventually going for the TNT or the um, sure. the international yeah. title. Yeah, I think him and him and Orange Cassidy for the international title. Yeah, I agree, a hundred percent. And that'll be his reward. Wait a minute, does Orange Cassidy not have a match on this pay per view? Orange yes. Cassidy is in the Stadium Stampede. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Okay, all right. So what's what's left? We have three left, right? We have Osprey Stadium versus Stampede. Jericho. Yeah, I think I think that um and I think that's next. And I it, with that. What what does the coin say on Osprey versus Jericho? Okay, so heads for Osprey. Tails for Jericho. Uh Tails for Jericho. The coin thinks Jericho is gonna win. I'm I, gonna disagree with defective. the tail. What did you say, Matthew? I think that coin's defective. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's interesting. Thing. Um I think Osprey right. is going to win because I think Tony Khan is going to go for the pop. Yes. I think the um, also the he's story... the future. Exactly, like, and and no I, good I, reason that Jericho should win this. He could put up a good fight. Oh yeah. Not. I I think Jericho is going to leave a face. Yeah, I think, I think he is the face gonna... going. Which is stupid. Why would I, you do that? Because Jericho. You got, is what's his name with Don? That, Cal- yeah, it's but the thing is, the only reason he's going to leave face is because Don Callis is a bigger heel than Jericho. Don Callis isn't even needed in this. No. That promo, Dynamite, was amazing. Mm-hmm. That promo chills. Listen, I'm not that in tune with Will Ospreay. I know his New Japan stuff. I know him as a wrestler in the ring, but I don't know him character work-wise. He's kind of like He's been building yeah. himself up as Big Man Charlie. Man, for a year so- now, he renamed the U.S. title the the British Championship. Yeah. That man is absolutely so- British royalty. Yeah, um, there is absolutely no good reason he should be going in as the heel in this match. That is terrible booking. Yeah, but um, he, man, that was an intense promo. And but again, that's Jericho, Jericho trying to salvage a stalemate from the jaws of defeat with this book. Yeah, Jericho is one of the best of all time. And he's 100%. So good. He is. And so being good. one of the best of all times means on a stage like this, you know, when you put over the younger guy not. needs the win. Yeah. Jericho's a McFoley. He's coming in. Win or loss, he's going to be over. Exactly. He knows that. He has never been shy about putting people over. No, so he never has. Do it on stage. What I didn't know is, and I don't know if it's kayfabe or not, was that whole little backstory about Jericho calling Will Ospreay. Apparently it's not. That. I just thought that was so brilliant. But can I ask you, Alex, what does bruv mean? Brother. Yeah. Brother, yeah. When he was like, you got me, bruv, bruv. I mean, man, he said that like 40 times during the promo. Do you, do you know so- he has a he has a bruv shirt oh. because he was on Renee Paquette's podcast uh, or on someone's podcast and like why don't you have a bruv show it's like yeah i guess i should shouldn't i bruv because it like 
Brov is Brov is very much an East London or London slang for okay. used much in the same way as mate would be, right? Like it's it's just yeah, another it's, 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 it's okay. another word for that. So yeah. Um, but and I think this is going to be a great match. Jericho can still hang. I don't care what people say. Jericho think, can still hang. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be an interesting clash of styles, but I think Osprey will. I think the psychology will be brought by Jericho. I think Osprey will carry Jericho physically to a solid match. I think that I think Jericho I think will get a standing ovation after defeat. You know what I, I mean? It's going to be one of those. I think Osprey wins, turns on Callus, who tries to get some shine, pops Callus, and I think he hugs Jericho. I there agree. I I was going to say I think Osprey is going to shake Jericho's hand by the end of this. It'll like, be a Brock Lesnar situation. And, and, and I, I th- yeah, I think you're going to see Osprey too. leaving as the face because he's going to pop Don Callis. Like he, right. I think he only did this because he wanted to go against Jericho, not because he had anything to do with Callis. Yeah, I think he just wanted to get in. Yeah, yeah, agreed. And All and right. then this feel good moment will lead us to Stadium Stampede. Which I'll be honest, I think it's going to be a crap show. I'm not looking honestly. I'm not looking forward to this one at all. Um, I haven't liked any of them really. Let's yeah. be very clear, guys. Though AEW has a wonderful history of putting a lot of pay per views that on paper look, and eh, this could be middling, I, and then putting on a really good yeah. show. So oh, one hundred percent. I give all the workers in here a lot of leeway to make a great match. I I yeah. agree with you. I just I've seen. I think they that they've overdone the hardcore That's match. It. Yeah, like the, this kind so. of you know blood and gut stadium stampede and every single yeah. one has had um but that's their brand now alex it it is i think it is and given that everyone has had um blackpool combat club in like at some point i just rather see um this like the singles match we had with john moxley and ray it, phoenix i've forgotten yeah, how that, john moxley it, was in the ring because you see him in in the hardcore matches so often yeah so who do you call? All right. Besides so what's the coin say? The coin heads for, uh, I keep calling the bullet club heads for, um, I, yeah. Blackpool combat club. It thinks that the other team are going to win. Okay. So with Eddie, I don't, Kingston. I don't, Eddie Kingston. Yeah. Eddie Kingston. I call it the same way. I do too. And I think it, the reason I think this is, I think pack isn't as injured as people have been making him out to see. Oh, okay. I I That's think that the big return you're going to see is going to be Pack coming. I think that um, you're going to see an additional member for uh, Blackpool Combat Club because they're going to say, "Hey, you said it was six on six. We've also found this guy who also yeah, deserves yeah. to be on this big PPV." And then you're going to have five on six for a bit, and then all of a sudden, Pack's just going to appear. Okay, uh, I can I see think that. I don't. I think it's very return. interesting. The other one I, I could see would be Harry Smith coming out. Yes, um, I agree with that one. But I agree with you. I think the faces win on this one. I yeah. agree. I think Back Blackpool Combat Club needs a comeuppance. Um, so this is this is a great place they're, to do yeah. it, even though this is the most weird makeshift team. And I think he eats the pen. It. So who eats the pin? Moxley. I see. I I think don't give it to Wheeler. I don't like Wheeler, but come on, don't don't. He, I think Wheeler's going to eat the. Uh, yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know if Wheeler's no. going to eat the pin or not. I think you're going to see. Yeah. Um, Cesaro. I mean, Moxley or Claudio. Yeah, I think Cesaro can eat the pin, especially it especially if it's packed. That's back, or you're going to see Phoenix uh, Penta pin Moxley. You want some uh, Phoenix. See, I think it's going to be Penta pinning Moxley because of what happened yeah. with Ray Phoenix. Yes, exactly. I, think, yeah. I agree with Matthew. It, Moxley eats the pin. I think Moxley's big enough that he can eat the pin, and it oh, won't hurt abs- him. Absolutely is. If you make Wheeler eat the pin, it's kind of like, okay, why do you even keep this guy in this this club? Yeah, to eat the pin. Yeah, yeah, get rid of him. <laughs> Although, no, Although but, hey, Moxley was the one that gave up in uh, the last in Blood and Gut. So, oh, you're right. Right, so Moxley is already. Claudio. I think it's. I think you're going to see it's Claudio, or if it is yeah. Moxley, they say, "Wait, why are you here? Because you keep costing the team." 
Yeah, yeah, good call. But I, I think Eddie, so you think Penta takes the pin. I think Eddie takes the pin. I mean, I think Eddie gets the pin. I think if Eddie's going to get the pin, it's going to be over Claudio Castagnoli. Yeah, I think it's going to be Eddie. But Eddie listen, first. wouldn't it yeah. be great if you use this match mm-hmm. to really anoint Orange Cassidy with a giant pinfall yeah, win that'd be crazy. on this giant stage when you know this is the guy who is going to be ascending in the future? Mm. I agree. That would be smart booking. I don't see it I, happening. I think Orange Cassidy's music hitting at the end is what you're going to... It would be much better than um, Penta's or Eddie's. I, I get Eddie because... Or the, or the just, best friends. They really... I'm just saying, Eddie. I, I think... I, it, my initial thought is still Penta pins Moxley, but if Orange gets the win, I don't care who it's over. I think yeah. it would be a phenomenal moment and a, a phenomenal vote of confidence. I, I, I Orange definitely has such a huge upside. I think Orange getting the pin would actually make more sense if it's against anyone. Because yeah. it could very much be if some like, say, Penta and uh, Phoenix... Uh, sorry, Penta and Phoenix. Penta and Moxie are off doing their a, a brawl off to the side. you got Eddie pounding yeah. on Claudio. And then Orange happens to get an Orange punch in and someone and just collapses on them, and that's the yeah. pinfall. I yeah. think that would actually fit his character so well. It's like, I've got nothing left. He's the last thing I have. And then he just collapses on Santana. And remember, yeah. and he gets is the, the international champion. This is his exactly. domain. Right. Yeah. Big question. Does anyone get hit with a golf cart or a British taxi? Um, I think a British taxi, maybe. I would not be shocked if they try and bring in a double-decker bus. Yeah, um, I could. I, I feel like, like you're, you're more bus. likely to see a hackney carriage than you are yeah, a, anything point. else. Okay. I think okay. a hackney carriage. I also think you'll see a traditional British phone booth in here at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see a TARDIS. Well, I, oh my God, that's even better. Let's give a TARDIS, not even the red <laughs> phone TARDIS. booth. The, you want the, the police phone booth? I think if they could, I think if, if there were any of those around, Hell yes. You would see it. The, the, the red phone booths are a dying breed, but they, they are, are, they but are still so around. iconic. This at all, I yeah. just want to see the wackiness. Like, um, yeah. If you make me watch 40 minutes of this, which I think it's going to be about 40 minutes. I really agree. Hot. Look, without question, someone's taking a cricket bat to the head, though. Let's 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really hope it's Claudio getting a cricket bat from the head by um, Pac, who shows up for some reason in his trunks and you love Pac. I I think that Pac, all of a sudden, he did, the injury only came out once the match was yeah. announced for Stadium Stampede. Yeah. Like, they, he, they, oh, Claudio injured him, and then they, they kept referencing it. Oh, for sure. For I sure. don't think he's as injured as they think, and I think that's another way to get a massive pop, right? Oh, no, you've been right lately with the certain things. Like, I mean, I will never forget you calling Brock Lesnar and Cody. That's just... Still boggles my mind that you didn't get that stooched off to you. Like I, I never in a million years, Matthew, you agreed. We never no, I, saw I that. Didn't agree. I agreed that Brock would put him over and would would acknowledge no. him. No, you would know you agreed that Brock would put him over, but you didn't think he was going to shake his hand. No, I did. Oh, we have, I'm going to have to go back go, and listen to that. Go back to the tape because he had told him to shake his hand on Raw. You're so, right. You're right. I, I, I was the one who said never in a million years. You were the years one who said never in a million years. <laughs> Alex and I were in total agreement. I said, I said, never in a million years will Brock be a gatekeeper. Never, 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 never. But yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, moment well, here we are. does not need to be re- 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 revisited. <laughs> but, Let's but go what on. Will be revisited is the main event. Here we All go. Right. And so the coin, coin MJF for Alex. tails and Adam Cole for heads. I'm going to let you guys get all yours out of the coin. The coin thinks Adam Cole is going to take this. I think that's a smart coin this time around. So do I. I, I think Adam Cole, everyone's shocked on Adam this Cole one. is going okay. to turn on MJF. Absolutely. Adam Cole is going to win that title, and they will have a rematch the following week in Chicago. Yep. And yep. I think I think you could see Roderick, Roderick Strong Same. coming yes. in. And, and listen, Alex, that. if you want to, I think you could see Punk tease some interference like he's coming to Max's mm-hmm. aid 
and yeah. helps him cost the match and start building that program. Yeah. I think there's any way around it, but if you want a holy crap moment to leave this Wembley on, this is it's the one. Adam Cole turning on MJF yes, it is. and yep. winning this championship, and that's how you get people to buy all out the following week. Yep. And I the reason agree. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I'm surprised that you both didn't go MJF. I'm very proud of I you. I did go. I, I think MJF is going to take it. No. Because... Uh, and that's purely because I, I keep thinking that they're going to build into yeah, a punk v MJF yeah. feud. And no, but, no, but, but Alex. But, you, but, the, the, more, but the, more you're, the more you're saying, the more you're talking to me, because I've, I've been on the fence for, the, for this one yep. all along. And I think it makes more sense for MJF to leave this match as a... a yeah, is it not not as a full baby face, but I I think he's he's edging into the I'm your scumbag role. Yes, he's so he's big, yeah he's he's the crowd's right. heel. Yes. So here's the deal. I think you get a reverse of what MJF has put everyone else through. Exactly. Yeah. Adam Cole's going to be like, oh, you want a rematch, Max? Yeah. But you got to face Roddy first, or you got to face this. He becomes the gatekeeper, and you're going to get the explanation of. Max, how does it feel to be rejected? And it was, I was never your friend. Yeah. I just needed my in. And that's what it's going to be. And you're going to get a heartbroken MJF who returns to being the devil, but still a face while being the devil because he's the sympathetic, well, I let my guard down. This will never, ever happen again. I'm going back to what I am but he's still going to be the favorite because he's the one who got turned on. Mm-hmm. I think there's so much more development with Max as a face right now yes. than there is with him being like, ha, I screwed you guys again. You believed it. Cause if Tony Khan goes that route, I'm going to be super friggin' pissed if Max is the one that turns. Cause it's just a waste of all the development that you did. Because I've said this before to people, and I don't know if you guys will agree. MJF, is one of the most rare breeds in wrestling that he is good as a face as he is a heel. It is so hard to pull off the two of those equally. So I think what, as good both ways. You and I have both said better than you, baby, are going to win the ROH yeah, and title. So and I disagreed. Hard. You disagreed. I am thinking I can see Adam Cole win this as a, in a clean way with no interference. No. No, there's not a chance in hell that he wins it clean. I hope not. I think it's less I, interesting if he wins it clean. It's way <laughs> less interesting if he wins it clean. But neck brace and come down and help Adam Cole. Um, I think that I think that's gonna happen. I wonder if Adam Cole is gonna like he's gonna do the um like Jericho did when Don Callis batted. Danny Garcia in the head. Yeah, he's gonna look, like, shake his head, it. like he's like, I didn't want, I didn't it. want this, and then he's gonna pin him anyway. Alex, I'm gonna call it right now. Adam Cole wins via interference, distraction, and knocks the fuck out of MJF with the dynamite ring. Ooh, Ooh that'd be fun. That's how it's gonna go down. It's not gonna be a super kick. It's not gonna be Panama Sunrise. It's gonna be via the dynamite diamond ring, and you're gonna get the crowd going, what? And you're going to get Max dejected. And here's the thing. And if this was three months ago and MJF was only six months into his reign, I'd say there's no chance in hell you're going to derail him and take no. the off him. But right now he's nine months into his first world title reign. And if you think about it, The Rock only had his first world title from Survivor Series to um, uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, which was less than a month. And look at how The Rock turned out. Max has already got to the point now, especially with the character development, that that's more equity from him than keeping this belt. He will get the belt back Mm -hmm. before the bidding war of 2024. He won't get it back right away. He's going to be chasing the belt now. And and he'll chase it as a baby face, which is there will be more money in that. And he will win it again, and then you will get your your unification match, Alex. Yeah. See, that's what I'm like. I think you, it makes more sense to have Punk with with a belt 
and yeah. MJF without a belt so that you can then have the okay. reunification match down and the road. I'm scratching yes. my head on why Adam Cole for the main event of Wembley. And this is why I'm like, okay, if it was me, as much as I don't want to break up better than you, baby, that's why I want to see them win the titles. I want that pop. And I want that, like, security blanket where people are like, oh, all right, well, the because I don't want to see them hug it out at the end of Wembley. I don't. That's the least interesting end to this for me. I want the Adam Cole turn. Adam Cole's a fantastic heel. Fantastic heel. I loved him in the Undisputed Era. I think that, yeah, you get the heartbreak of MJF letting his guard down finally. And again, you've got to you've got to do this because you have all out the next week. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that is the you you got to You've got to build You have one yeah. week and you have to use this pay-per-view to yeah. build you all can. out. What is and the hottest thing that could happen leading into yeah. all out in Chicago? It's going to be Adam Cole turning on MJF, winning this title yeah. and the two of them run it back the following week. Yes. Now, Adam Cole, given real life circumstances and how close he was to being over done with wrestling, I honestly think if you don't pull the trigger now on an Adam never Cole, do it. it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna nope, go the I way of Brian Danielson. I don't think you're gonna see Brian Danielson as AEW champion before his title. I mean, before his contract's over. Maybe, I think that's, I don't think Danielson wants it. I think Danielson's actively avoiding that spot. Oh, you think so? Um. But I, so I, so there you go. So, so we've got a three to one, Mm -hmm. three to one. Adam Cole takes it. Alex, you are holding out hope for your boy, Max. I am. I I am. But I just think it makes more sense and it's better for Max to lose it. I think there's more money in Max losing it. You're not wrong. I agree completely, but I'm stubborn and I pick MJF first and I don't want to, bandwagon jump on Adam Cole. Before we cut, before we cut, I I love both Adam Cole and MJF. That's why this tag team is a dream for me. Adam Cole is the greatest thing to come out of NXT as far as I'm concerned. Period. And I I know Roman Reigns might disagree with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, damn it. Fuck, Roman Reigns, yes. Okay, he he agrees. But anyways, the black and gold NXT I'm talking. Not the FCW NXT. The black and gold Triple H era. Adam Cole is the best. Period. All right? Put a stamp on it. I just think that Max needs this more as a loss because what happens if he wins? Now who's his next challenger? You are going to get to a point of, ah, but MJF's going to win every pay-per-view until 2024. Yeah. I I don't want to see that because no, it's not. Full disclosure, I think you're right. I I think it makes more sense for Adam Cole to win this. I just you the only reason I'm going for MJF is I picked MJF first. And <laughs> so there you go. My belt tomorrow if I'm wrong. I will be like, God, yeah, that cat, that would be me. I'd be, come on. You know? I do think Roderick Strong plays a part into it. And the kingdom as well. Yes. I think this is this is the new formation of whatever their equivalent to the undisputed era is going to be for mm-hmm. AEW. Cole takes it. He's the he's the smarmy heel champion yeah. who outsmarted MJF. Um, and you build MJF as the face. And Wembley will go off the air with Cole leading a brand new stable. Yep. And everybody has to tune in and buy the all out yes. pay per view. Spend Which more is, money the next weekend. Do you, I, can, I, I see next weekend being oh. Roderick Strong versus MJF. Yeah, start his. Thing. I don't. I don't think you're going to see the rubber match between Adam no. or the you're rematch. Get strong as you know, you got to climb the gauntlet, kid. Yeah. yeah, I. I. I mean, logically, it makes more sense. I am going to switch to Adam Cole because I don't see MJ. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be more interesting for MJF. <laughs> and hey, I'm. It, Can it I does... also take this though? Because mm. I got to get going. I'm sure everyone else does. I think this this storyline with Adam Cole and MJF, this guy you're seeing, I think this is the real Max, non kayfabe. I think this is more of who he is. I really do. I think he's having a blast. I think they are true life friends. I just think this is more of who he is 
in real life than you know the total piece of shit MJF. Well, let's see. Let's see how he keeps kayfabe being a baby face. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. All right, so that so, that wraps up our our all in predictions. Um, we've got, and then the following weekend, the following couple of weeks, we've got payback. We've got all out. So a lot of wrestling coming your way. A lot of great wrestling coming your way. It, it's it's a great time to be a fan. It's a great time to be a wrestling fan. And if you don't believe us, just follow the buzzards. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.